Uh, my name is uh, Professor Charlie Kolstad. Uh, I'm an economist here at Stanford specializing in energy and environmental economics. On behalf of uh, Stanford's uh, Energy and Environmental Policy Analysis Center, to say that carefully to make sure I get all the words in there, which is CPAC, the words right there, uh, I'd like to welcome you to this, this special evening event, Apre Paris, after Paris, uh, what's next for climate policy. Um, let me just say a few words about the speakers and about the, this evening's event. Uh, CPAC was founded in uh, 2011 by Professor Larry Goulder, and it basically specializes in quantitative methods to solve pressing policy questions in the area of energy and the environment. And, uh, you know, what more pressing question could there be than, uh, than climate change these days? CPAC now has uh, many faculty and students affiliated with it, including myself. Uh, check it out at cpac.stanford.edu. I should say it's a joint venture, and forgive the, the acronyms, but all the Stanford people are used to that. It's a joint venture of CEPR and PI. CEPR is the Stanford Institute for Economic Policy Research, which is where you are right now, and uh, Precord Institute for Energy, which is PI. We're grateful to CEPR and PI and friends of CPAC for uh, financial support tonight to make this possible. So I hope, hope you're as excited as I am uh, about today's event. Uh, having toiled in the trenches of climate change for several decades, I, 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 I think it's really true that I haven't seen this much positive energy and progress in this area for a long time. Uh, over the past few months, but over the past year, there's a lot been happening, and a lot to, to put a smile on a lot of people's face. Of course, the problem's not solved, but progress is always better than just no progress. Um, this energy was extraordinary, culminating in the Paris meeting, which took place last month, and uh, which you'll hear about today. Uh, this evening's group of speakers is uh, uniquely qualified to provide a perspective on Paris and the future of climate policy. We, and we are very appreciative of the speakers giving their time. Let me also announce that um, Mary Nichols, who was on, on the program, uh, was unable to make it. Uh, she was called away for emergency negotiations with Volkswagen over their diesel problems. So that, that seemed to trump uh, coming here to talk to us, even though she was very uh, apologetic about that. But we have a great substitute for her, namely uh, her boss, uh, Matt Rodriguez. <laughs> so you, you have bios of our four speakers, many of, many of you do, on the sort of handouts outside. So I won't go into any, any detail, but it's a very distinguished group. Uh, we have uh, Todd Stern, who is uh, um, President uh, Obama's special envoy for climate change. And let's just summarize it. He's the chief US negotiator for climate change. So he's in charge of climate negotiations for the US government. And the US government has been leading the world in this area recently. Uh, then we have Matt Rodriguez, who's the head of the California EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, overseeing six agencies, including the Air Resources Board which uh, Mary Nichols heads. Then we have uh, Trevor Hauser, who uh, works in Silicon Valley and has worked in Washington as well, and most recently was, um, played a major role in Risky Business, which was a, an analysis of uh, the economics of what can be done about climate change and the risks associated with it that, that any prudent uh, someone that's prudent financially should try to avoid. Very important uh, report that came out a year or two ago. Uh, and then uh, Jerry Taylor, who uh, a, 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 takes a libertarian approach to the environment, at least I hope you don't mind my characterizing you that way, um, but, it, but is a believer that climate needs attention. He's the president of the Niskanen Institute in Washington. 
And um, before I introduce the moderator uh, of the, net, the net coming discussion, let me just say a few words about the organization. We're going to spend about an hour, a little bit less, each, each speaker pr providing some initial remarks. Uh, then we'll have about a half hour of discussion among the speakers, moderated by Professor Goulder at the end, and then a half hour of Q&A from the audience. Um, so you can be thinking of concise questions um, for that, that final half hour. Uh, so let me, let me end by introducing the moderator, Professor Larry Goulder. Uh, Larry is a, a distinguished uh, economist focusing on the economic, has focused for many years on the economics of environmental policy. He's the um, Shuzo Nishihara Professor of Environment and Resource Economics. I'm delighted to have him as a colleague and as a moderator of what I know will be a very stimulating event. So I'll leave it at that. <laughs>